Just an absolutely beautiful day, especially for Dunk Day HRVs through the roof. Let's run it. I just gotta work and you know I'm doing that. Never stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Whatever I lack, add it to my bag. And I got plenty more where that came from. And my price is right, I never change. But I don't get it done. Get it done. Oh, yeah. that's every day, that's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Today I'm feeling 100. And I really think I'm gonna get that dunk because the last couple sessions I was really close and now I'm happy. It's easy to see when you watch this video, if I get it today, I really think I will, that it's easy for you to be patient watching this video even though it's been like weeks and I was really close to nailing it. But now I feel fantastic and if I get it or don't get it, the patience is huge. And today's one of those days where I'm just hot. I just warmed up a little bit and my blood is sweating. My blood, my body is sweating. My blood is pumping and I just feel amazing. I feel aggressive. I feel the adrenaline. You can tell. I talk all about this in my body awareness course that I'm super pumped about because it helps you master the balance between not overtraining and pushing your body to respond and grow and continuously make progress. <laughs> Yo, real quick, two things. Why is this dunk so important? And number two, what's the biggest lesson to learn from this journey? Number one, my dribble dunks have been my biggest weakness. As I went backwards and worked on every single detail, I got super close to this new goal. And the reason this barefoot dunk is so huge is because I used to not be able to dribble dunk off full speed. Now I can drop step dunk, even though it's a self bounce with barefoot shoes, it's a huge difference. I learned how to use my body correctly off a drop step. My drop step used to be a huge disparity, which shouldn't be. So the biggest lesson, 20 days ago, I got super close to this exact dunk. Are you kidding? But I stayed disciplined. I didn't overdo that day of training. Then a week later, I got a medicine ball dunk on 9-9. A huge milestone in itself. I've never done that. So I went from poor dribble dunking to now dunking a heavy ball on 9-9. Then a week after that, just three days before this dunk, I got even closer to the barefoot dunk with the self bounce. On 10 feet, of course. Oh, that was it. Oh! Good discipline. Good discipline, Steve. And on that day, I knew I could get it. I knew I could have it, but I just jumped too much and missed the timing of the dunk, had a couple back rims, but I stayed disciplined, thinking long-term, so that way I can continue to make progress every session. And now when this day came, my energy was on fire, I felt amazing, and I still had no expectations. I still said to myself, if I don't make the dunk today, it's still progress. And the reason you have to do that is so you can stay in the right headspace and train what you have to train today, hit that stimulus sweet spot and make progress and build another step of foundation. Because if I got caught up missing and missing and missing and I just kept jumping until I tried to get it, I might have overdone my muscles, my tendons, ended up injuring myself with pain and just set myself back once again. But because I didn't do that prior and I was in a good headspace this time and, and those steps of foundation were built, I got it. So my question for you along your journey is what's the rush? Why do you want the progress now? What if I told you you made every step of progress every single session and you're raising your ceiling with every session? Instead of trying to reach the ceiling now, why not raise your ceiling every session? No ceiling Sally in this. Feels so quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
it wasn't saying, for like, October, we wouldn't be here, baby. And I'm going to have people question, who the Another huge key is you gotta work in the now. You have the journey set. You wanna climb the mountain. You wanna be the best you can be, but you can't let that take you away from where you are right now. Because if you think about that and you're trying to jump ahead, then you're not gonna be a quality workout now. You might overdo it. You might work on the wrong thing. Just do your best now and trust that you will be on your path to the greatest you can be. I'm gonna fucking smash this. What the fuck? Let's go! Put that bitch in the hoop! Put the ball in the fucking hoop! Alright. Jeez. Oh my god! I mean, I mean. It's inevitable! When you have no limits, it's inevitable! Oh my god! Feeling comfortable off the dribble actually feels better than the dunk that I made because the dunk that I made, the small steps were already made of progress. The foundation was built. I knew I was getting better. I already had progress. So now the dribble dunk is something that was hard for me to really get going. So feeling that get comfortable, feeling getting stronger with the ball in my hand, that feels better today than the actual dunk. Oh my goodness! Oh. Oh my man, Steve doesn't need the lob! <laughs> First try. I got so used to the drop step. I'm taking off way too close, so. I'm 28 years old in 10 months. <sighs> I landed a nasty mill. It wasn't clean, but I got super high. But that means gotta do it again. And I just want to say thank you for 50k. We are killing it. This has been a dream come true. And I'm going to make a whole video on what I've learned thus far in my YouTube journey, my dunk journey, my self discovery journey, everything. And I just dropped the Energy Foundations course. Get the bundle, sleep, nutrition, body awareness. I'm loving life and I hope you guys start to take your life to the next level. That's what we're all about. Let's do it. Thank you. Enjoy your freaking moment. It's the only one that exists as usual. I'm going to Arizona, by the way. I'm going to get lost in the desert and play with crystals. And I'm not even kidding about that. Let's go. I'll see you when you get back. Maybe I'll have a full, I'll be a different person.